Hey guys, all right, today I have another reformer workout for you. Today we're gonna be using the Pilates ball. Okay, now I want you to make sure that your Pilates ball is not fully inflated, okay? So mine's got a little bit of pliability to it, a little bit of squishiness, because we wanna be able to hold on to it when we're in our movement. And you know, I don't mean gripping it for dear life, but this is gonna give it a little bit more traction and grip, um, and when we work with it in different places, and different choreography, it'll be a little bit easier to hold on to, okay? Um, you're gonna need also your reformer box, okay? So you're gonna want that down on the reformer if you are looking at your reformer. So you're looking rear facing, you're gonna want that box on the left side of your reformer so that as I cue through directional cueing, you'll be in the right spot, okay? My reformer is on one light spring, that's one blue spring, and I'm gonna leave it there the entire workout. Now, if you do have an extra light spring on your reformer, if it's balanced body, it's a yellow spring. If it's um, a different brand of reformer, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's just one spring. If you do have an extra light spring, you can switch it down at different times if the blue feels like too much resistance. And I'll give you modifications at the time of those exercises where one extra light spring might be a little bit more doable. But otherwise, we're gonna stay on that one light spring all of class, so that makes that pretty easy right there. Okay, we are gonna start standing on the machine. We're gonna start with Warrior One and Warrior Two, and then we're just gonna flow all the way through. Lots of focused abdominal work today. You're gonna feel those inner thighs too right off the bat. All right, so let's get started. Join me on top of your reformer. Now to get on the reformer, I want you to make sure that you step one foot on the platform first and then the other foot on the reformer. We're actually gonna start with the left foot on the platform, let me get there, and the right foot on the reformer. Okay, so left foot is on that platform and I want you to have it parallel to the platform. My right foot, toes are gonna be shining rear facing. So got my toes pointed directly at the rear of the machine and you wanna make sure that you're just a few inches away from the edge of the carriage. I've got that ball in between my palms. I'm gonna face Foot face the rear, so I'm in line with that right foot. I'm gonna lunge forward. As I lunge forward, I'm bending that right knee. Okay, you're gonna feel that one blue spring. Arms are gonna come up and overhead and make sure those biceps stay just in front of the ears. My right knee tracks with big toe, second toe, and I hold that lunge. We're gonna peel the right heel one inch off the carriage, set it down, we're gonna open up to warrior two. So now I've just rotated my chest to face the left side of the reformer. The ball is in my right hand. I'm gonna give a little kick right through that right leg. So I'm gonna straighten that right leg all the way out, bend it back, and I'm gonna close all the way up. Good, I'm gonna face the rear. I'm gonna take that ball out and overhead. I'm gonna lunge into that right leg. Good, keeping that knee in front of the ankle, keeping that kneecap tracking with big toe, second toe. I'm gonna peel my right heel, set it down, open up to warrior two. Now we're gonna add a little right here. We're gonna pass that ball up and over to the right, to the left side. I'm gonna give it that little heel kick and I'm gonna close it all the way back up. Good, ball comes between both palms. We lunge towards the rear. Hold your lunge, peel your heel, set it down. Open up to warrior two. Pass the ball up and overhead. Give that little kick, straightening out the right leg. Bend it back and bring it all the way in. Here we go, that's our flow. We're lunging into that right leg. Hold, peel that heel, set it down. Open up to warrior two. Pass the ball up and overhead, keeping that lunge. Good, we're gonna give that little heel kick. And then we're gonna close all the way back up. We should start to feel those inner thighs now. They're kicking in. Good, we're lunging forward, allowing the torso to tilt, keeping the low back long, peeling the heel just one inch straight up off the carriage, opening up to warrior two, passing the ball up and over that right ear into that left palm, giving that heel kick, extending, opening the back of the right knee, bend it back and closing all the way back up, using those inner thighs like suspenders. They pull up and in along the spine. Leave that little heel peel. Open up to warrior two. Pass the ball up and overhead. Good, right here, we're gonna give that little kick through the heel. Good, and then we're gonna close it all the way up. We're gonna go two more times. I know we're here a little longer, but it's a longer flow. We're gonna reach into that lunge. Hold, peel the heel, set it down. Open up to warrior two, pass the ball up and overhead. 
Good, hold, give that little hinge kick. Good, and then bring it all the way in. And here we go, now we've got some holds. We're gonna reach into that lunge. Find your most beautiful lunge. Those biceps are right in front of my ears. I've got the ball between my palms. We're just gonna peel the heel. So one inch up and down. Now your goal right here, we're recruiting the right inner thigh to pick up the heel. So I want you to think about lifting that heel straight up and down. My eyes are glued to my headrest. Okay, so I'm looking out in front of me and I'm trying to keep that carriage as still and steady as possible. Tightening the core, keeping that belly button up and in. We're just peeling that heel. Good, think about recruiting that thigh. Good, as you set that heel down, it gives a little shake. We've got four. Last three, we've got two, good, last one. Set the heel down. Let's do that opening to warrior two. Hold right here. Now we're just gonna kick that right leg. So we're gonna open the back of the right knee and bend it back into that lunge. It's an open and bend. So you're extending that right leg and then we're bending it back. Good, real focus movement right here. Core is engaged, it's on. That ball's not really doing anything right now. That's just been choreography this whole time, adding a little extra uh, work, right, and focus as we move through this. Last four little kicks. Good, you're working it, fully opening up the back of that joint, that right knee. Three, good, last two. I can feel that right inner thigh extend and then shorten. Last one. Hold it right here, and now we're gonna close it all the way up and in, guys. Nice job, all right, stay up there. We're gonna turn both feet now so they're parallel, toes shining straight in front of me, okay? And I've got my right foot pretty close to the edge of the carriage, uh, maybe about three inches away. Okay, that ball's gonna start down at the top of the thigh, and we're gonna work on an open close here. So on your inhale, you're gonna open up that carriage. Ball is gonna come up and overhead, biceps stop in front of the ears. You're going as far as you can, maintaining control, okay, and keeping the sternum over the pubic bone. So we don't wanna lean back or forward. From here, we're gonna close it on up and in. Good, so open and close can feel like a pretty easy exercise. I want you guys to really think about focusing this movement to where you should be feeling it. So. Those inner thighs right here on that close, we're resisting that blue spring as we draw the inner thigh up along the spine like suspenders. So feel that lift and tightening of the core. Good. Open. Good, find that resistance right there. Once you feel comfortable, I want you to lift up and in, pulling those inner thighs up along the spine, resisting that blue spring. We're not just letting it close. And you can bring that carriage all the way into the bumpers. Open that out, bicep stop in front of the ears. The ball is just adding choreography, a little extra focus and intention. Good, and then we're drawing those inner thighs up along the spine. Let's go two more like that, because we got several layers here as well. Good, opening up. Good, and then exhales, we draw it all the way up and in. Good, if those toes are gripping, try to release the toes. Keep those feet nice and flat. Good, now right here, we're gonna only close halfway. Okay, so we're gonna bring that carriage in, ball's gonna come up off the chest, and we're gonna hold right there. Now, I want you to take those legs, and we're gonna externally rotate, okay? So I know you're in a compromised position already because we've got the carriage open, but you're just rotating those inner thighs forward facing just a bit. Toes are at a 45 degree angle now. Right here, we're gonna hold that carriage where it's at, and we're gonna do some plies. So we're gonna bend both knees, Okay, we stay tall and lifted through the chest, and then we inhale as we stand back up. We exhale, bend both knees, opening our inner thighs, carriage stays put, and then we inhale as we lift. Exhale, my kneecaps track with big toe, second toe, right there. I'm opening my inner thighs for de depth, I'm not dumping my chest. And then on my inhale, I'm gonna lift those inner thighs like suspender straps right up along the spine. 
The ribs stay stacked over the pelvis. And I'm trying to keep that carriage nice and quiet as I move through these plies. That's extra challenging. And we have the resistance of that one light spring. Good. Lots of focused, intentional movement right here. I don't want you to breeze through these plies. Try to keep that carriage as still as possible. We've got two more. We got some more layers. Good. Inhale as you lift. Good. On your next one, you're going to hold your plie. Sternum still tracking over pubic bone, belly button pulled up in along the spine or up and into the spine. From here, we're going to peel our heels. We're going to start with that right heel. We're going to lift that heel one inch off the carriage, set it down, and now we're going to peel the left. Make sure you've got the ball of the foot on that platform. So I'm going to wiggle my foot a little bit more onto the platform. Right heel lifts, set it down, then the left heel, set it down. Good. Goal is to get that carriage to stay quiet. So as you start to work through this movement, you'll find more control. Okay, you'll get those, all that connective tissue will start to fire in the right places. Good. Core is tight. Shoulders are down and back. Good. Holding that ball right out there is a little extra choreography. But we're not doing anything with it yet. It'll come into play soon. Good. We've got four. Last three. Last two. The next time you have your right heel lifted, you're going to keep it there. We're going to open those arms into a T. Now, keeping the right heel lifted and the carriage steady, we're going to pass that ball up and overhead to that left palm. Bring it back to the T. Same thing. Little side flexion, reaching that left arm up and over the left ear to that right palm. Good. Now, balance is challenging here. So I want you to remain focused on your movement. Even talking to you kind of throws me off in this position. We've got not that full stable platform on that right foot anymore. That heel is lifted. The ball of the foot is heavy, right? But we're keeping that carriage nice and still. Last two. Good. Last one. Passing it over to the right. Hold it right there. Okay, now from here, we're going to bring that ball into the chest. Both palms are going to hold that ball. And now we're just going to squeeze on the ball as we pulse the plie. So a little squeeze as we pulse down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. We should feel both inner thighs quite a bit right here. Good, you got six. Woo. Last five, we've got four. Last three, keep that core nice and tight. Last two, Woo. and now right here, we're gonna set that heel back down. That ball's going to come right down in between the legs. So we're just going to hold those arms nice and long. And we're going to do a hinge. Okay, so not going to change my legs. But from that seat crease where the leg meets the hip, we're going to keep the back nice and flat. And we're going to fold forward. Good. Rotating that pelvis over the top of the thigh. And then we come all the way back up. Good. Hinging from the hips. Flat, flat back. Eyes follow the spine. And then we come back up and we're not letting that carriage move. We're trying to keep it completely still and steady. Good. Feel that pelvis kind of rotate over the top of that thigh bone. Yes, you guys, good. Four more like this. Nice and steady, nice and still. I know those inner thighs are on. They're on, on, on. Whoo. Good. Last three. Exhale as you hinge. Inhale as you lift. Last two. Folding, keeping that back nice and flat. Shoulders are down and back. Good. And let's go last one. Full hinge. Keep that back nice and flat. Don't let that carriage move. Come all the way up and straighten those legs and bring it all the way in, guys. Ooh, nice job. All right. Set that ball down for just a minute, okay? It's just been choreography up until this point, but we're going to do a plank right here. But this one's going to be a little different. So we're going to come into a staggered plank, still staying on the one blue. If that feels too heavy once you start to work through this, because we're going to do a single leg plank, change it down to that extra light spring if you have one, okay? If not, we're going to work through that blue spring, and it's going to add a little extra resistance today. So... Right foot is going to stay down onto the, on the platform, okay? My left foot 
is going to come up onto the foot bar. Now, from this position, I want you to point that right toe, okay? And you're going to lift and pike those hips. Both legs are straight. And I know they're on uneven surfaces and that left hip is a lot higher. So we've got the job of kind of leveling out the pelvis the best we can, okay? From here, both legs are straight. We're going to keep the left foot on the foot bar, Okay, and we're going to take this out to a plank, right knee pulls in. We're going to tap the edge of the carriage. Now staying here, we're going to round the spine, nodding the chin, pulling the knee towards the chin. And then we're going to come all the way back to that pike. Okay, we're going to take it all the way back out, pull that right knee in, tap the edge of the carriage. So the hips are going to dip a bit. Then we're going to round into this flamingo right here. We're going to come back to a flat back and we're going to pull it all the way back to that pike. Same thing. Left foot doesn't move. It stays on that foot bar. We pull in, hips drop. We tap the edge of the carriage, hold the wrists under the shoulders as we find flexion, pulling the knee in towards the chin. Come back to your flat back and pull it all the way back to that pike. Good. Take it all the way out. Pull the right knee in, tap the edge of the carriage. Round the spine, nod the chin, find that deep curl. Come back to your flat back and pull the right toes in towards the platform. Let's go two more. Take it out to that plank. Right knee comes in. We tap the edge of the carriage with that right knee. We find flexion as we nod the chin. Come back to the flat back and pull it all the way in. Good. Last one. Take it all the way out. Pull the right knee and tap the edge of the carriage. Fine flexion around the spine. Flatten that back and pull it all the way in. Now, the next one we're going to hold. We're going to take it all the way out and we're just going to tap that knee. So we're going to dip the hips, tap the knee and pull it up. Tap and lift right here. Tap and lift for four. Woo! Last three. Keep those wrists under your shoulders. Last two. Now we're fighting a blue spring. Last one. And bring it all the way in, you guys. Whoo, both knees down on the carriage. Roll out those wrists. We're coming onto that box, okay? So no spring change. If you did come down to the extra light, put it back on that one blue, okay? Now we've got our right foot's going to be on the, uh, the box, okay? And our left foot is going to be up against the shoulder block. So we're going to come into a lunge here. So right away, I'm going to get evened out. You want to make sure that right foot is very close to the side of the reformer, okay? Left foot is gonna come up against that shoulder block and ball is between your palms, okay? Now, ball's gonna start down at the front of the thigh. Make sure both legs are under your hips. Right foot is gonna stay, long, or stay flat as we lengthen back that left leg. So we're gonna open up the back of the left knee as much as we can. Stay right there. We're gonna bend the right knee and find our very best lunge. Arms come up in front of the ears. And then we inhale as we lift up. Good. We exhale. Pull that belly button up and in. Come down to your best lunge. Now, normally, right, I would say to you, that carriage is only moving because you're bending your right knee. Whew, can't look at you. I'm going to fall over. Right? Now, I normally have you on an extra light spring. On the blue, you have a little more resistance. And I'm sure at this point, you're feeling that in your body. What I want you to think about is your right sits bone, center of the right glute, reaching away from that right kneecap. How much length can you find right there? But keep your left hip bone shining straight forward. We want to keep those hip bones in alignment with one another, not push and twist into the carriage. Okay, so keep the shoulders square, ribs over pelvis. Let the torso tilt, okay? And then come all the way back up. So that's a little bit of form correction as we work. I want to make sure that you hear those cues as we work because the lunging can get into the knee if done in, in appropriately or wrong um, because we can tweak the knee. So I want you to always find that alignment and I want you to get the most work out of it. Either way, you're still lunging, right? You're still going to feel the work but I don't want you to get hurt through any of this movement. Good. We're allowing the torso to tilt because we're protecting our low back. It's also going to allow us to get deeper into that right glute. You should feel that turn on quite a bit. 
make sure your entire right foot is heavy on that box. We've got three more right here. Inhale up. Good. Exhale, bending that right knee. Whoo, we got some holds coming up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Good. Bend. Good. Keeping that booty always above the knee. It doesn't come lower than that. We want to keep that core engaged. Right here, we're going to hold our best lunge. We're going to pass that ball from the right hand behind the back and all the way up and overhead. One more time. Pass it behind the back, bring it up and overhead, and come all the way up. Good. That's our move right there. Lunge. Ball comes up and overhead. We hold. We pass behind the back, up and over. Good. One more time. So it's two passes. And then we come all the way back up on that inhale. Whoo, boy. Here we go. Down two more like that. Hold. Pass that ball. And overhead. Good. One more time. And overhead. Inhale as you come all the way up. Now we're going to change. Oh, wait. I think we have one more. One more. I see I get excited and get ahead of myself. Hold. Pass that ball. Whoo. Keep that right heel heavy. I know the toes want to be heavy on that blue spring, but keep the heel heavy. Okay, now on your next one, we're going to change our pass. So we're going to lower into our best lunge. That right leg is starting to shake. We're going to pass the ball under the right thigh, up and overhead. One more time. Under the right thigh, up and overhead, and come all the way up. That's your move right there. Find your best lunge. I'm not looking at you anymore. Can you tell? Because <laughs> I'm shaky. Good. Pass it under that right thigh and up. Under the right thigh and up. All the way up. Woo, three more like that, guys. Lunge it down. Pass. Keeping that, those hips level. Keeping that belly button pulled up and in. And allowing, still allowing that torso to tilt. Fully standing up on that right leg. When we come back in, we got two more right here. Pass under that thigh and up, under and up. Always bringing that ball back and up, back up and overhead. Okay, so finishing out that choreography, not allowing it to be sloppy. Good, we're gonna hold right here. Last one, pass, Woo, but we're not done. And pass, good, come all the way back up. Oh boy, all right, the next one is a hold. Now for this one, we're going to find our very best lunge, and we're going to keep the ball right at the chest. Okay, we're going to squeeze on that ball as we peel the right heel up and down. Up and down. Little heel peel. Up and down. You got it. Squeeze that ball. Activate that back, those shoulders. Good. Light up that waistline for four. Whoo, last three. We've got two. Last one right here. We're going to keep the heel lifted, full range of motion. So I want you to fully stand up on that right leg. Keep the heel lifted. Okay, and then find your lunge nice and slow with control. Allow the torso to tilt. Good. Inhale, bring it up. Now through this movement today, I've got grip socks on, guys. Grip socks are going to help a lot. As the body starts to heat up like this and we start to sweat, whether it gets warm or whatever, I don't want you guys slipping off of the equipment. It's also just going to give you a lot more traction. Good. So grip socks are always a really good idea. Let's go for three. Still reaching that right sits bone away from that right kneecap. Lots of length we find on that right thigh. Woo! We got one more hold coming up, guys. One more hold. Last two. My heel is lifted, if it can be. If you need to put your heel down, you go right ahead and do that. Good. Last one right here. We're going to hold. We're going to set that right heel down. And now that left knee is going to pull in and out. We're now we're going to add the arms. The right arm is going to come up and overhead when the left knee is in. Okay. And now we're going to switch. My right arm comes back. Left arm comes up. But the ball stays in that right hand. Okay, so now we're just doing oppositional arm swings right here. My right foot is heavy. I'm controlling that carriage. I'm pulling that left knee under my hip. But my hips stay quiet. Exhale as you bend. Last six. Inhale out. Last five. Ooh, we got four. 
Keep that right heel heavier than the toes. Last three. Pull that belly button up and in. Last two. Oh my goodness, guys. And last one. And come all the way up on that right leg. Whoo, carefully step that left leg onto the box. Give it a little shake, but we're coming down. Okay, come all the way down. We're gonna move that box up to the top of the reformer now. So we've given those inner thighs and those glutes a little bit of work. <laughs> now we're gonna work on those abs, oh boy. Okay, they're always working in my classes, right? But they're really gonna work right now. So staying on that spring, nothing changes, okay? We're gonna scoot forward and then carefully lie all the way down. Now, I want you to make sure that you're connected on the box. So your tailbone's pretty close to the edge of the box, the forward, the front edge. Okay, but my head, I've got my head on the box. Now we are gonna be taking an ab curl. Um, it's not gonna be as important, but if your head is not on the box, I just want you to be really careful when you lie down. Okay, your left heel is gonna come onto the foot bar, okay? Now, my right leg is just gonna hover over the foot bar. Okay, I've got a nice neutral spine already, so I'm not pressing my low back into the carriage, which would look like this. Okay, I'm finding that neutral spine, allowing a little lift in the low back, only small, and those hip bones, they should be shining straight up to the sky. Belly button's in and ribs are closed. We're gonna take the ball and we're gonna take it up and over the chest. Now, right here, we're gonna press through the left leg. So we're gonna extend the left leg as the right leg kicks, we're gonna ab curl and pass the ball under the leg. And then we're gonna bend it back in. Okay, make adjustments as you need to in your form or your setup. Okay, now that we're moving, you might feel like something is a little off. Maybe I need to scooch a little more forward on the box, a little bit more back. Find your position. Now you're working to fully extend that left leg. Okay, now we are really focusing on the abdominals here and that core engagement. It is not meant to be a heavy press through that left leg. We're just passing the ball, passing the ball underneath that leg is choreography, but it's also forcing you to hold the ab curl longer than you would if we were just reaching. Last four, we're gonna change it up. Ooh, last three. Open up the back of that left knee completely. Last two. Good, and last one like this. All right, now right here, my left toes are gonna come to the foot bar. So went from left heel, now ball of the left foot, ball of the left foot. Right leg is still gonna hover, okay? Now, from here, we're gonna work on a twist. So my right hand is gonna have the ball, my left hand is gonna come behind my head. Okay, as we lift, or as we, as we um, curl, Okay, we're gonna extend through the left leg. I have the ball in the wrong hand, <laughs> of course. Before you keep going, I knew I would do that. Right hand behind your head, right hand. Okay, now the ball is in the left hand. So you have your long leg and your long arm opposite each other. Now here we go. On your exhale, you're gonna find that ab curl and you're gonna twist to tap the ball on the outside of that right ankle. And then we're gonna come all the way back in. We're extending the left leg, reaching or twisting to tap the outside of the right leg. Extending the left, reaching the right, twist and down. My right hand is just supporting the head as I twist. I want you to focus on those ribs. Those left ribs twist to get closer to my right inner thigh. That's the movement right there. Twist and reach. Ooh, again, fully opening the back of the left leg for that twist. Now, if you feel comfortable here, you can add a little hop. Okay, so as we take it up, we hop. <laughs> I didn't even hop, you see, I didn't feel comfortable. Good, we're gonna take it out and find a little hop and a curl. Woo, hop and curl. Now, the first one might feel a little wonky, okay, and I don't want you to fall off of the box. Okay, so take it nice and slow. You want those toes to catch the foot bar when you come back in. Okay, so it's not a big hop. It's little, really little. Good, focusing on that twist 
more than anything else. If you're not taking that hop, no big deal. You're still working those abs. Three. Good. Last two. Woo. Last one. And bring it all the way down. Now, we're going to get a little deeper. Okay. Both knees are going to come up into tabletop. Now, if you feel like you need to scooch forward a little bit, you can. Your left elbow and your left thigh are going to hold the ball. So right away, we need to take an ab curl, okay? So I've got my left elbow against the ball, left thigh. My knees are locked over my hips, and my shins are parallel to the floor, meaning ankle and knee, same height. Okay, my right arm is gonna straight, be straight up to the ceiling at that underarm height. I'm gonna take my right leg, or yeah, right leg, and extend it long. Let's bring that up so both my arm and leg are parallel. Hold your ab curl. Press that left elbow into the ball, and we're going to open the right arm and right leg, and close. Open, and close. Nothing is changing on that left side that is isometric. My right arm, that bicep stays in front of the ear always. We keep those ribs closed. Whew. Good, you guys. Isometric hold on that left side. Press the elbow into the ball. We've got four. Last three. Last two, holding that neutral spine. Last one. Good, now on your next one we are gonna hold. So open up that right arm, right leg, hold. Now I just want you to press the elbow into the ball. Little pulse, little pulse. Elbow into the ball. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, woo, and bring it all the way in, you guys. Oh, those obliques. Okay, right here, we're going to work on a bridge. So I want you to really scooch that tailbone down so you've got a little bit more support for the head on the box. Okay, now the ball is going to come between your knees, okay, between your knees today. Toes, okay, are on the, the uh, foot bar to get started. Now your arms, if you're comfortable, they're gonna come up and over the chest, okay? If you're not comfortable there, they can absolutely kind of be hugging the sides of the box. You find what works for you. Okay, now we're gonna adjust those feet so the heel pockets, right before you get to the heel, is on the foot bar. Straight off the hips, you've got the ball between the knees. Right here, we're gonna hinge the hips up, but we're not gonna let the carriage move. So on your inhale, we're gonna use the hamstrings to keep the carriage in, lift those hips, and then exhale as you set the tailbone down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So it's not a gigantic lift. I'm not letting the carriage go anywhere. I've got a little bit of resistance with that blue spring, so that helps, but my hamstrings, Turn on right away once I bring those hips off the box. Now you're wor working for length on the front body. Okay, so as you lift, I want you to think less about shoving the hips up and more about lengthening that psoas muscle that runs along the spine, lengthening it right down the top of the thigh and out the knee. Good. Hold that here. Four. My legs are so shaky already. <laughs> Last three. Ooh, I think it was that jumping work because that, that's nerve wracking for me. Good. Last two. Takes a lot of coordination for me in my body. Good. Now on your next one, we're going to hold it up there. Okay. Now from here, we're going to extend. Okay. Pulse the ball two times. So squeeze. Squeeze. Two. Bend the knees. Don't drop the hips. Bring it back. Squeeze the ball. Two, one, set the hips down. Same thing, just like that. We're going to hinge, okay? We're going to extend. Keep the hips lifted. Try to open the back of the knee completely. Squeeze and bring it in and squeeze two times. Little squeeze on the ball, set the hips down. Good. It's a lift. Oh, the hamstrings. Extend. Squeeze the ball two times. One, two. Bring it in. One, two. Set it down. Woo, two more like that. It's a lift, hinging those hips up. Extend, open the back of the knees. Pulse. Bring it in with those hamstrings. Two, 
one, set it down one more time, just like that. We got one more layer after this, hinge it up, hold, extend, pulse, two, one, bend the knees, bring it in, don't let the hips drop, two, one, set the hips down. Now here we go. We're gonna add on a little bit. Again, not letting the carriage move. We're gonna inhale, hinge the hips up, hold, and now we're gonna up, curl and tap the thighs. Bring it back down, let the hips come down. Whoo, hinge it up, hold, don't let the carriage go out. Up, curl, tap your thighs. Bring it back and set the hips down. Whoo, four more like that. Lift, hold, curl and tap. Bring it back, set it down, last three. Oh my goodness, my legs are just shaking like a leaf. Curl, tap. Release and bring it down. You may find your ab curl doesn't have as big a range of motion. Good. Lift, curl, bring it back and down. One more just like that. It's a lift, hold, curl, bring it back and set it down, guys. Whoo, and shake it out. Extend those legs across the foot bar if you have to and give those ankles a little roll. We got those abs on the other side. Oh, baby. Okay. Here we go. All right, so that ball is gonna come, we're gonna start with the elbow, okay? That ball is gonna come between the right knee, okay, or the right thigh and the right elbow. Both legs in tabletop and I've already got an ab curl to hold the ball in place. My left arm is gonna come straight up over the chest, okay? And my left leg is gonna come straight up in the air. Ooh, I feel that hamstring, right? Hold your ab curl. We're gonna open the left arm and the left leg and then bring them back. We're gonna open the left arm, left leg and bring it back. That left bicep stays in front of the ear. I am pressing my elbow into that ball, holding that neutral spine. Chin is away from my chest. We got six. Keep that right knee and ankle at the same height. Five, whoo, good, right here, we got this. Last three, good, you've got two, press that ball. On your next one, you're gonna hold the leg and the arm out there, make sure that left bicep is in front of the ear, pulse the elbow into the ball for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and bring it all the way down. Whew, okay, stay where you're at. Don't go anywhere else. Okay, we're gonna get the right toes on the foot bar now. Okay, left leg is gonna hover, right toes. So the ball of the right foot, right below those toes is where you wanna be on the foot bar. Okay, we've got a neutral spine, neutral pelvis, left leg is hovering over the foot bar, and that ball is gonna come to the right hand. Let's get it right this time. Left hand is gonna be behind the head. Now from here, we're just gonna start with the twist, no jump. So on your exhale, we're gonna extend through the right leg, twist and tap the outside of that left ankle, and bring it all the way back to start. It's a reach and tap. And I'm thinking more, less about the ball and where the ball is going, but more about the right ribs, okay? Getting a little closer to that left inner thigh without opening up or straddling the left leg, okay? We wanna keep that left leg moving straight over the hip. Fully opening up the right leg. So there's a lot of coordination involved right here. Okay, on the first few, I don't even think I opened up the back of my right knee all the way. You wanna think about your movement, that conscious, intentional movement every time. Curl. Now, if you feel comfortable here and you wanna add that hop, okay, you can go for that little hop. So you're just gonna leave that foot bar on the curl. And the first one may feel a little wonky. One side might feel better than the other. This side definitely feels stronger in my body. Good, reaching those toes off the foot bar. Again, focusing more on the abdominal work, that twist. Good, that hop is teeny tiny off that foot bar. Six, Ooh, last five. 
We've got four. Good, last three. And two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. All right, now, right heel to the foot bar. Okay, left leg is still hovering, toes pointed. Ball between both palms right now. So same thing. We're going to extend through the right leg and pass the ball behind the left and down. Good. So you're extending, lifting that left leg, passing the ball and back. Opening up the back of the right knee. Scissor kicking that left leg. So that left leg is at no point sloppy. It is nice and strong, nice and straight. Exhale, reach and curl. When I come into that ab curl, my low back touches the box. Okay, when I'm down, I have a teeny bit of space there. Good. Lift. Let's go for six. I know I kept this long on that first side. Ooh, we got five. Pass and reach. Good. Last four. Working on that hip flexor strength at the same time. It's not bad to feel the hip flexors. Last three. We want to strengthen them. Good. Last two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Oh boy. All right. Before we leave the box. Okay. We're going to do some arm marks on the box. So this one's a little bit difficult to get into. Your straps. You need your straps. Okay. So carefully, carefully grab one. Go ahead, maybe lay down. Keep that ball with you. Okay, I don't know if you can get that. I can't even get the other one in this position. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I had a feeling. So grab both straps and then lay down nice and carefully. Okay, nice and carefully. Once you're down, bring both straps over your head with that one hand. But before you do anything else, the ball is going to come between the knees. Okay, so I know that was wonky to get into and a little awkward, <laughs> but we're in it now. Okay. Once you're there, find your short loops. Okay. Now you've got the resistance of yourself, the box and that blue spring. If the blue, uh, blue spring and the short straps feel aggressive, I want you to switch to the long loops. Okay. I want you to go with what works in your body today. Okay, so I've got my short loops. I'm going to bring my fingertips straight off the underarm. I've got the ball between the knees, and I've got my knees over my hips and my shins parallel to the floor. Right from here, we are going to work at just lowering the bent legs, okay? So nothing else is going to change. I'm not ab curling, nothing. We're going to lower the bent legs. Maybe the toes tap something, maybe not, and then we bring it back up. What I want you to focus on right here is the spine and the pelvis. Nothing is going to change. Everything is isometric. I am opening that seat crease like a door and then I'm closing it. I'm opening right where the legs meet the hips, right there. Okay. Now I'm watching and really protecting my low back. I'm not letting that change position as I move my legs, my arms. Okay. My torso, everything's nice and stable. We got four. Whoo. Good. Last three. Tight core pulls it up. Last two. Good. Last one. Okay. Now from here, if that felt all right, I know it's challenging. I want you to go ahead and extend your legs long. Now, same thing. We're going to lower and lift them back up over the hips. Lower the legs. Spine doesn't change. Pelvis is quiet. Good. And we're just lifting and lowering those legs. Everything is like a statue. Okay. I want you to roll that femur through the pelvis, top of the thigh bone. Whew. But pelvis stays quiet. Low back stays strong. Good. We've got that belly button pulled up and in and those ribs are closed. We've got four. Last three. Ooh, little challenge right here. Good. Last two. On your next one. Okay. You're going to bring those legs back up, bend the knees. So you're in tabletop and we're going to take one ab curl. Okay. So on your exhale, we're going to curl, reach the palms towards the box. Hold. We're going to extend the legs long. And now we're going to go 
over with the right leg and under with the left and switch. You've got that ball in between those legs. So you're going to roll over that ball. We've got space between the chin and chest. We're holding those arms down. We're here for six. Woo. Last five. You've got this. Hang on. Last four. Last three. Last two. Oh boy. Last one. Good. Level out those legs. Bend those knees and come all the way in. Oh boy. All right. Toss those straps back there. If you can find the hookup, hook them up. If not, I'm just going to drop mine and get them when I get up. Okay. We're nice and carefully going to come off of that box because we're tired. So careful <laughs> to come down. You're going to take that box and you're going to move it down onto the floor and we're going to come into that lunge. Here we go. Here we go. So make sure that box is lined up with the carriage. If you want to hook your straps back, back up so they're not in the way when we do more work, you're not going to need them, but there they are. Okay. My left foot is going to be on the box. Okay. And that right leg is going to come up against the shoulder block. Now, right away, I want to make sure that I'm starting with both legs directly underneath my hips. Okay, my right toes are light on the reformer. Left heel is up against that shoulder block. Left foot is flat. Okay, ball starts at the top of the thigh. Eyes forward. Okay, we're gonna bend that left leg and let the torso hinge forward. Just finding that full range of motion lunge. And now I remember why my legs were so shaky on that bridge. Oh, here is why <laughs> we did this all on the other side first. All right, guys, everything comes full picture. It takes me a while sometimes. Whew. All right, you guys. So I want you to think about long length on that left thigh bone. Knee reaches far away from that left, but I left to sits bone, but I don't want you to twist. Okay. That doesn't mean twist. I want you to keep the shoulder square and the hip square. Hip bones are level core is tight. Left knee behind the toes, but in front of the ankle. Get that kneecap to track with big toe, second toe, and then come up. Good. Now, when I go through those form adjustments and all that talking, you guys can keep moving. Okay. I know sometimes when people are like, oh, she just talks, 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 and we're holding. I don't want you to hold like me. I'm just showing you so that you have a better idea of where things need to line up. And the more and more that we work together, the more and more you'll you won't even need to hear that part from me anymore. Okay. You'll know already where things are supposed to line up and you'll start to feel it in your body. I have mirrors on all sides of me right now. Mostly at this point, those are for clients when they're here in this room. For me, I feel it. I can feel where things line up now. I've done it so much. It's nice to be able to check yourself out in the mirror though. It's nice validation to see yourself have that nice form. Okay, so don't be afraid to adjust, take a look, stop, move through something a little slower. Let's go for four more lunges right here. Whoo, we got four. Make sure that left booty stays above the knee when you come into that lunge. We're not coming all the way down here. No, 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 no. I want you to keep the booty above the knee. That way the core stays on and we don't just let the quad and the glute take over. They're already working hard. They're big global movers. They want to work hard. It's the other muscles that don't want to work. <laughs> we want to make them work. Good. On your next one, you're going to hold and we're going to start with that pass behind the back. So we're going to pass that ball. Ooh, behind the back, my mirror gets in the way here, guys. So you have a nice smooth pass, but mine's a little weird. Good. And then we're going to come all the way back up on that inhale. We're going to exhale. We're going to find our very best lunge. I'm going to start by passing to the right hand, kind of get around that mirror a little bit. Two passes behind the back, keeping that nice lean with the torso and up. Good. Reaching it back. We got four. Whoo. Good. Just a little extra choreography and lots of mobility through the arms, which is nice. Good. Last three. Don't let that blue spring bring you back up. Okay. On that last one, I let that blue spring push me a little bit because I was too busy chit chatting. So I want you to really focus on your movement, bringing that carriage in. That left heel is heavier than those left toes. Good. And up. We're going to go one more right here. And then we're going to change how we pass that ball. 
up and over. Good, now right here, we're gonna bring it all the way up and now our next one's under the thigh. So we're gonna find that beautiful lunge. Now we're gonna pass that ball under the left thigh and up two times, under and up and all the way back. Whoo, let's find that reach. Left sits bone away from that left kneecap. Two times we pass that ball. And back up, let's go for four more right here. Reach. Yes, you guys, so strong. Hang on, we're getting close. We got that open close in that warrior, but I also want a chance to end with a little extra ab burn. So hopefully we'll have enough time. Good, and up, let's go for two more right here. Reach. Tilt, that tilt gives me that flat low back. That little extra work through the glute. Oh yeah, I can feel it, <laughs> right? Can you feel it? Good, on the next one, reach. And pass. Okay, our next one is gonna be a hold. Yes it is, oh boy. <laughs> on your next one, hip bones stay together. We're gonna reach and hold. Ball's gonna stay at the chest because we're gonna squeeze on it as we peel the left heel up and down, up and down. Now you remember before how I told you to keep the heel heavier than the toes? Well, obviously now that doesn't make sense, right? Because we're peeling the heel. What I want you to focus on is getting full engagement underneath the big toe all the way to the pinky toe. So spread those toes out nice and wide. And I want you to think about recruiting that heel straight up. The inner thigh turns on that way. Hold it there for four. Woo, last three, last two. On your next one, you're gonna hold the heel lifted and we're gonna come all the way back up to standing nice and slow. Those legs are shaky, they've done a lot of work already. Woo, and up. Now remember, as you lunge, right, this should be natural instinct now, the torso tilts a bit. And then we come up. If you can keep that left heel lifted, keep it lifted. We've got four. Good, inhale up. Last three. Woo! We got two. Reach, 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 reach. Okay, last one. Hold it down there. Now let's set that heel down, okay? The ball is gonna come into the left hand and that arm's gonna start up, right arm is down. We're gonna switch the arms as we bend that right knee in and out. My left heel is now down back on the box. My left foot is flat. Good, now I'm working on that carriage pull and those that diagonal oppositional reach with those arms. Whoo! Pull that belly button up and in and think about those hips staying quiet. Good. We got three. Whew. Last two. Oh boy, I feel that left leg. And last one right here. And stand it all the way up. Ooh, carefully take that right foot off the carriage. Shake out that left leg. Here we go, open, close. All right, so this time I'm gonna be facing away from you guys. So just follow along with my cues. Same thing as we did on the other side. This time we'll just be working that left leg a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna start with those feet in parallel, all 10 toes shining straight forward. Ball starts down at the top of the thigh. We're gonna open up the carriage and lift the ball up and overhead, keeping the chest up. Good, opening as far as you feel comfortable. And then when we close, I'm thinking about my inner thighs like a pair of suspenders, pulling them up along the spine and resisting that blue spring. Inhale. Good, keep the sternum over the pubic bone. And then we're gonna exhale as we draw it back in. Inner thighs are like suspenders. I want you to find that resistance and fight against it. Good. Now, we did this on the other side. So some of these movements are a bit repetitive until we get to the heel peels. So I'm only gonna take you on two more open closes right here because I want a chance to get to some other things and make sure we get through that full warrior sequence. And in. 
Now our next one, we're gonna hold out there. Okay, so right here, we're gonna take it all the way out to our full range of motion, opening up as much as you can comfortably, maintaining that strong structure. Now, we're gonna bring the carriage in halfway. Okay, ball is gonna come down in front of the chest. Now, right from here, we're gonna externally rotate those feet. Okay, make sure the ball of your right foot is connected to your platform if you've got a skinny platform like I do. All right, right from here, we're gonna just plie. We're gonna bend those knees, keep the torso lifted, knees track with big toe, second toe, I don't lean forward, and then I stand all the way back up, fully opening the back of the knee. Bend, try to keep that carriage still and steady. That is hard, that is not easy. Okay, we've got a spring trying to pull us in. We're lowering on that plie, expecting things not to move. This is where all that connective tissue is gonna start to fire and stabilize that carriage. Good, hold it right there, you've got this. That slow intentional movement, I know it's hard to slow down like this sometimes, and it's hard to clear our heads but one thing I like to say about Pilates, or at least this is what I feel in my body, as crazy as your life may be, and mine tends to get really crazy, and I am not good at slowing down. I'm not good at meditating. I'm not good at clearing my head. Pilates does that for me because I can feel the movement in my body, and I want to feel it in the right places. I want to find that shake. So my focused movement clears my head, and I hope that it might be doing the same thing for you guys. Good, keep that sternum up. Good, you've got two more. Now that ball is just choreography here, so if you wanna do something else with it, that is absolutely fine. Good, now you're gonna hold this plie right here. We're gonna open up into a T, and now we're just gonna peel those heels. So the left heel is gonna start, set it down. Then the right, down. Good, I'm not changing. I'm staying low in that plie. I'm recruiting the inner thigh. Fe can you feel that in your body? I want you to try to feel that. As you pick up the heel, can you feel that inner thigh pull up into the pelvic floor? Try to feel that engagement. You'll start to find a shake. You'll start to find that little tremble through the legs. Good, especially as you go to set that heel down. Good, we've got four. Last two. The next time you have that left heel lifted, we're gonna hold it lifted, don't do anything else. We're gonna pass that ball up and overhead, so we're finding a little side flexion right here. I want you to think about lifting out of the pelvis with your waist. So you're lifting the waist up and out of that pelvis as we take the ball overhead. Then remember, those uh, biceps always fall in front of the ear when we pass that ball. I'm not letting the carriage move. Okay, you got a strong connection through the ball of that left foot. Let's go for four. Can really feel those inner thighs now. Good, last three. Woo, we got two. Good, and last one right here. Hold that T. Good, bring the arms back to the chest. We're gonna squeeze on the ball as we pulse that plie with that left heel lifted. You've got it right here. Woo, six, five, keep the carriage steady, four, Good, those inner thighs are like tweezers. Good, last three, last two. Hold your next one low, set the left heel down. Ball's gonna come low, and now we're just gonna hinge. From that seat crease, you're gonna fold, keeping the back nice and flat, keeping the carriage still, reaching the ball for the springs, and then we come back up. I don't want you to round that back. Think about keeping those shoulder blades down the back, we're not reaching the arms first. The eyes follow the spine. We're hinging right at the hips, and then we hinge back up. We're folding over, nothing else changes. My spine stays nice and long. Ooh, we got four. You feel the heat, I can feel the heat on those inner thighs. Good, try not to rush it. I know we're close to the end, last three, the body is tired. Inhale up, good, last two. And up, let's go one more, one more right here. Fold, and all the way back up, Woo, straighten the legs, and bring it all the way in, oh boy. All right, stay up there, warrior. 
Right foot parallel with the platform. Left foot, toes shine towards the rear. Ball between the palms. Here we go. We're going to lunge into that left leg. I know things are shaky now, so let's take it really slow. Lunging into that left leg. Knee woo, stays above, or sorry, stays in front of that ankle. Hold it there. Peel the heel. Set it down. Open up into warrior. Good. Right here. Hinge kick. Bend the knee and pull it all the way back in. So on the next one, we'll add that ball pass. Okay. Face the rear. Lunge into that left leg. Okay. So you're going to put weight into the carriage. You need to, to keep the right foot light. Hold it there. Peel that left heel. Set it down. Open up into warrior. Should have kept it in that left hand. There it is. And then we're going to pass that ball up and overhead to the right hand. Hinge kick through the left leg. Bend it back. And then draw it all the way in with those inner thighs pulling up along the spine. Face the rear. Lunge into that left leg. Good. Biceps in front of the ear. Peel your heel. Set it down. Ball stays in the left hand as we open to a T into warrior two. Pass the ball to the right hand. Hold. Hinge kick that left leg. Straighten it out. Bend it back and come all the way up and in. Guys, this is really shaky for me. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm trying to take it nice and slow. So if you're feeling that same thing, I want you to think of that intentional movement right now. Peel that heel. Down. Open up to that T. Keep the ball in the left hand. Warrior two. Pass the ball to the right hand. Hold. Hinge kick your left leg. And bring it all the way in. We got four more like that. Lunge. Hold. Peel the heel. Keep the ball on the left as you open to warrior two. Pass the ball to the right. Whoo. Hinge kick that left leg. Bend it back and bring yourself all the way in. Last three. We start with two straight legs. Torso faces the rear. We lunge into the left. We hold. Peel the heel. Keep the ball in the left hand as you open to warrior two. Pass the ball to the right hand. That little side flexion. Kick through the left leg. Open the back of the left knee. Bend and draw it in. Last two. Guys, this is a flow right here that should help clear your head. I want you to focus so much on your movement that you forget about everything else. Peel your heel. Set it down. Open up to warrior two. Pass the ball to your right hand. Hold. Kick through the left. Bend. And bring it in. This is your last one right here, guys, but we're going to hold through these, remember. We're going to lunge into that left leg. We're going to hold it right there. Now, just right here, we're going to peel the heel. That's it. Up and down. Feel that left inner thigh. Recruit the heel. Good. We've got it. We're picking that heel up with that inner thigh. You got this. Good. Keep that carriage still. Last four. Whoo, we got three. Last two. And last one. Hold your lunge. Open up to warrior two. No more ball pass. Now it's just that kick. We're going to kick through the left, open up the back of the left knee, and bend it back. Now, when I kick, I'm not locking out my knee. Yes, I'm fully straightening it, but I'm not popping into my joint. So I'm making that movement as fluid and soft as possible. Whoo! Delivering that leg with the hamstring. We've got four. Core is tight. Last three. I'm focusing too. Can you tell? Last two. Ooh, and last one. It's deceivingly innocent looking. And we're going to blend it all the way back in. All right, last and final ab fire. You're going to come all the way down onto your carriage. Ooh, we're going to lie down on our back. I know, this is long today. All right, those legs are going to be, you know, a teeny bit of space between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks. We're going to glue those legs together in a closed parallel position on top of the foot bar. So I've got the back of my ankles resting on the foot bar, okay? From here, the ball's gonna start at the top of the thigh and my hands are gonna press into the ball and we're gonna roll up, okay? So on your exhale, you're gonna press that ball right down the midline of those legs, rolling, and we're gonna find a forward fold. So we're pressing that ball all the way towards the ankle, reaching for the toes 
And then we're going to come all the way back down to the carriage, nice and controlled, pressing into the ball. Good. Exhale. Nod the chin around the spine, press into the ball. Press, 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 press. Forward fold, reaching for those toes. Nice spinal flexion right here. And then all the way back down, pressing into the ball is going to activate that right and, wet, right and left waistline. It's also going to keep those shoulders down and back. Good. Pulling that belly button up towards the spine as we roll and taking it down. We got some holds. All right. So we're going to do two more roll-ups just like this. Good. Pressing into the ball, rolling all the way up with control, reaching for those toes and down. Inhaling as you reach the shoulder blades back to the carriage. Good. Last one coming all the way up. So full range of motion, curl, 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 roll, reach for the toes. Good. And as you come down, we're only going to come halfway. Okay. So the ball is going to reach my knees just above my knees. I'm going to curl that tailbone and that mid back's going to start to curl. I'm going to hold it right there. Now, right here, I'm just going to press into the ball, press, press. I want you to think about your right and left waistline, those transverse abdominal muscles right here. Press with those muscles. Six, five, four, three, two, hold your next one. The left hand is going to stay on the ball. As we open to the right, arm comes to a half T. We look at the right fingers and then we bring it back. Now my left arm is going to leave the ball. I'm going to look and I'm going to twist and I'm going to bring it back. It's a little twist. Okay. The ball press, the palm presses into the ball as the other one releases. Okay. And we look, we follow that arm as it opens. Whoo. We got four more. Stay here. You've got this four. Last three. Oh boy. Whoo. Last two. Whoo. Last one. Bring it all the way back to center and press the ball as you roll all the way down, guys. Whoo. And you are all done. Stay down there. Set that ball down on the side. Okay. You're going to hug your knees into your chest. Give them a nice little hug. Oh, that was one f- full hour. Lots of controlled movement. Really intentional. Nice job, you guys. It's not easy. Good. Now, right here, we're going to take those legs long again. Bring those toes to the foot bar. The left toes are going to stay down, but the right knee is going to bend. And we're going to bring that right knee across the midline over to the left. Okay. I let my hips pick up and I twisted my hips with that knee. And my right arm is going to look... Or, Unfold to the right, and I'm going to look at my right hand. Okay, so you've got that spinal twist going on. My left toes are on the foot bar, giving me a little grip, a little traction as I twist that oppositional twist through the spine for four. Last three. Last two. Good. Coming all the way back through center. Right toes to the foot bar. Left knee is going to bend. We're going to take that left knee across the body, picking up the hips. Left arm's going to reach out to the left. I'm going to look at my left hand, hold it there, and breathe for four. Last three and two. Good. Coming all the way back to center, gluing those hips back down. We're going to bend those knees and slowly roll all the way back up. Now, right from here, we're going to turn rear facing, and we're going to take the right foot forward. So right foot forward, my left toes are on the platform and my left knee is down. You want to find that staggered kneeling position. Okay, now right from here, we're going to keep the chest up. My left elbow is going to come to the outside of my right knee. And I'm going to twist and look away. Now you're on the reformer. This is going to feel a little shaky. Okay, balance is is tough on a, a floor. So on the reformer is a little extra tough but I want you to just move slowly. Look at your right fingers, find that spinal twist. You also feel a nice little twist through the right glute as well. And that inner thigh for four and three, last two. Good. Coming all the way back through center. Let's switch out those legs. Right toes come back, left foot forward. Same thing, growing up nice and tall, sternum over pubic bone, right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Hold that there and twist. Looking at your left hand, this side's shakier for me. Hold, breathe. Four, 
Good, last three. And two. Good, coming all the way back through center. And let's find our last and final child's pose. Take your knees the width of the carriage, nice and wide. Reach your hands out over that headrest. Find that big reach from the fingertips out those sitting bones. Now hold that there. Two big breaths, breaths through the rib cage. Inhale. Ribs go wide towards the sides of the room. And then we're going to exhale every last drop of air out. Good, nice big inhale. Exhale all that air out. Guys, and you are all set. Nice work. Tough choreography today. Tough control um, and coordination through the body, especially when we are on the box. Um, and again, if you have questions for me after you've done these videos, please leave them in the comments below the video. I check every single comment. I answer everybody. Um, so don't worry if you don't hear from me right away. I do get back to you at some point because I go through every comment. If you cannot, or if you'd rather not comment under the video, you can find me on social media. I am also Jess P. Fit on Instagram and Facebook, so that's a good place to find me. And you can always email me too. Uh, my email link is right in my bio on Instagram, so you can just kind of click on that. Um, it's, but, or you can just email me directly at obsessedtoblessed.com or at gmail.com. So that's an easy way to find me too, guys. Like this video, subscribe. I will keep bringing you more videos. Um, we've got more 45-minute videos coming and some more 30-minute burners. So I'm always up for your comments and your suggestions. Hit me up. I'll see you next time.